Welcome to this commentary. <coughs> I'm Darlanio, and this is a daily motion cap game between Nurkyu or Nurchu and Stefano. Nurkyu is spawning as the Red Zerg here in the two o'clock position on Shattered Temple, and we have Stefano as the Pink Zerg here in the three o'clock position. Sorry, one and uh, two o'clock position, I should say, of course. Um, this is the third game out of uh, uh, five, or uh, best of five, and uh, I suggest that you look at game one and two before this game. They are also available on YouTube. Right now both of these players are supply blocked, and both of them have their overlords in production. They both have hatched their overlords. It's a similar build to the other games. And uh, what we can suspect to see now when we have close air position might be more of a mutalisk play. The earlier two games, which I will spo spoil for you now if you haven't stopped watching, is that they had very heavy circling and baneling play. We can also see that Stefano goes for the early expansion and he has also start morphing his extractor. The spawning pool is coming for Nurchu who usually goes earlier for the spawning pool than Stefano. I think this is about the same that happened last game. So no big difference yet. Spawning pool is coming also for Stefano. And we see a queen coming for Nurchu, his spawning pool being already completed. Also four Zerglings coming. And I guess we will see some early harassment with those, at least some early scouting. The expansion going down there for Nurchu, starting to morph. And Nurchu also has an extra overlord, so he is he is ahead right now. Stefano had his overlord coming up there and with the hatchery he has 28 instead of 26. Both players researching metabolic boost. And we have missed the fight here so I will turn back the clock just a little bit. As we could see, these Zerglings came into Stefano's base. And the reaction to that is, of course, that uh, one, uh, Stefano has his own Zerglings spawning, and sometimes two, uh, the drones get into the fight. We can see that a drone gets killed and more Zerglings are coming in. So now it's 5 versus 4 and if they go back to the main base it's a queen as well. So these Zerglings are chased away. No queen spawning up there. It's the first queen which is moved down to the natural expansion and the second queen is spawning here in the main hatchery. Baneling nest is coming up. Same for Nurchu. His first queen is moving down to the natural. His hatchery here and here. None of them is spawning a new queen. Uh, we have Baneling nest there and what is this? One small circling coming into Scout, we can also see the Banelings, so no Mutalisk play for now, we have Banelings and Zerglings. This might transform into Mutalisk play later on of course. 
one baneling getting destroyed there even though there were just a few surglings left not sure if that was necessary here is morphing more banelings coming up with the two remaining there more surglings as well this looks similar to the former game where Stefano put on early pressure and we can see several banelings going down the few surglings remaining there get killed this queen is not at a good health but it will be hard to get to her I think Some harassment of the drones here. Not sure removing them from from mineral line duty. These small critters move and spawn so fast. Here is another attack from Stefano. And he is not retreating, just regrouping. Several banelings getting destroyed there but that's enough for Stefano who is moving back to his base for now who has the larger economy then? we have 28 harvesters for Nurtio and just 22 for Stefano so his early aggression has not gotten any drones killed for for nerd show, not many enough at least. Okay, he's able. Stefano is able to chase away Narcos aggression. His army there. One spine crawler is up here, and one spine crawler is rooting here. We also see a roach warren. That transformation is standard. Here we have the roach warren for Stefano. And it looks quite even. More banelings for Stefano and also a few more surglings. Otherwise the armies are about the same size. We also see that Stefano has fewer drones. So he's harvesting minerals at a lower rate, even though both players have two bases. The destructible rocks up to this island, which um, makes the shattered temple a bit different from the lost temple map. In lost temple, this part of the map uh, is not existing. You are not able to gain access to this island without air units. Overlords with transportation, medivax or warp prism can be used to gain access to this island and build a base there. But this drone is now able to get into this base and start morphing a hatchery. We see that Nurtu, even though a few seconds behind, is doing the exact same thing. Stefano getting his Surglings in here, we see that there are a lot of roaches here, we see a infestation pit here to be able to morph up this lair into a hive. And for Stefano it's this base who will be morphed into a hive later on, but he is going for a hydralisk dam, not the infestation pit yet and evolution chamber his hatcher will of course spawn earlier we see Stefano coming down here with a small army going back again being chased by speedlings speedlings attacking the roaches and banelings coming in killing off a lot of the surglings and 
some of the roaches, uh, a few more roaches being here to chase them away, but the armies split up and go back to their own bases. We can see that Nurtu is planning to go gas heavy. While this third base just now is getting its, its extractors. Gas is very important for the Zerg player. Uh, independent of the unit composition planned, it's very important to have gas. We can see Nurture moving out with uh, two infestors and a lot of roaches. Can stuff. Can Stefano keep this back? He has his Hydras, five of them, and he gets a pretty good surround, but the Infestors get their Fungal Growth on most of its units, and there's not much left of Stefano's army. We can see that the army of Nurtshu is moving in on the natural expansion and Stefano says well played and leaves the game. He has surrendered. Game 3 is the win for Nurtshu and I hope you check out game 4 which will also be available shortly on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye!